Hey everybody, it's Brenda from Queen Bee RV. Dana, Empower RV. And we are coming to you from Amarillo, Texas. We are teaching this week at a cool girl camper event called Camper College. And today's topic, Dana, is gonna be about electrical, specifically this EMS. So can you tell everybody what does EMS stand for and what does that thing do? EMS stands for Electrical Management System, and that's exactly what it does. It's gonna make sure any electricity coming from the campground pedestal into my camper is perfect, causing no damage of any sort. So speaking of that campground pedestal, I've heard that there's issues and things that might go on there. Can you share a few ideas of what it's protecting your rig from? Sure, you're gonna experience potential um, power surges at a campground. You'll experience power brownouts at a campground, and we know that brownouts are not normally seen as much, but they can cause some severe damage with that increase in amperage. So we want to protect against brownouts and you might also have a um, reverse polarity at your pedestal. Gotcha. So I asked Dana to bring this one along. We were actually using it as a prop during class so the girls that had never seen mm -hmm. one before could take a look at it. This is her personal <clears throat> EMS. Can you tell people what are your best practices and how do you use that thing when you show up at the campground? Sure. Our um, choice was Progressive Industries EMS, so that's what this one is. Um, they come in 50 amp and 30 amp. Choose what's best for you. What I do when I arrive at the campground, very first thing is to check my pedestal. I'm going to make sure I have good clean power coming from that pedestal. And so I'm going to back up, stop, not unhooking, not unhitching, doing anything. First thing, go plug this guy in. You want to make sure your breakers are off in the off position when you first arrive. Plug your EMS in, flip the breaker and let it do its thing. It's gonna take 60 seconds, 90 seconds, maybe up to two and a half minutes um, to decide and run all of its little tests. Once it declares that you have good power, it's gonna allow power to pass from here into the camper. But I won't be plugged in yet, so I'll just know that I've checked the pedestal, everything is good. I'll go ahead and turn the breaker off. I'm gonna unplug this guy because I need to attach my power cord. So I'll finish my, um, at that point I finished backing up, getting set up, everything. I'll pull my power cord back out Make sure that you have a nice tight connection with the power cord and the plug here. You don't want to have any, any gaps at all. You want to experience any potential arcing of electricity. Once you have a nice tight fit here, I'm going to plug in back into my pedestal, turn the breaker back on, allow it to run its cycle again. It's going to run that cycle the entire time it's plugged in. Got and it. It, so as long as it's in the pedestal and you have power, it's running and, and protecting your camper of any potential problems. Got it. Once it's allowed power in, again, it's two and a half minutes at the very most, my camper will click on, all is good, and we're good for the rest of the, uh, the campground. So it sounds like it's a pretty worthy investment. Oh, absolutely. It's a little pricey. They are a little pricey to start with, but they are a great um, insurance, you know, the great insurance for your campers. Got it. So we hope you like this video, and if you did, if you will let us know, and also follow our social media channels. The links are in the uh, description below, and then we will see you guys next week on the next episode of 52 Ways to Empower Women RVers.